What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Ochoa Smokehouse. I'm Albert Ochoa. I'll be your host today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Today we're going to be cooking some uh, turkey breast with the knotty wood pellets. The turkey breast that we picked up from Aldi's. Get that going with some uh, knotty wood pellets. We uh, got up early in the morning, so footage was minimal. So go ahead and, uh, throw in some almond wood pellets first. And then next up, got the plum. So we can get a little 50-50 mixture going on. No specific weights or anything. Popper there, mixing them up a little bit. Just get them uh, nice and mixed up. Get that blend going through the auger. Get the thermal work set up. So we get that uh, ambient temperature. So let's go ahead and get this uh, turkey breast opened up and. Uh, See what we got going on in here while we're working with. This is my first time doing any turkey breast, so I uh, didn't know what to expect. Got some more greedy pouches in there. So, go ahead and get this unpackaged and uh, actually go ahead and uh, remove the skin as well. Uh, so, go ahead and just start. Pulling that back, getting that off of there, and uh, so we can get this seasoned up. This one we actually didn't do any kind of brine, just went with uh, what was in the packaging. So, nothing special. Like I said, this is my first time doing one, so just kind of wanted to see how it came out on the smoker. And see how those uh, knotty wood pellets worked out. So drizzle it with a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil, a little binder, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this sucker seasoned up with uh, some uh, meat church uh, honey hog, I believe it is. Um, yeah, honey hog. So, get that laid down on the first layer. Excuse my dog in the background, going crazy. So, yeah, Meat Church Honey Hog, first layer. And, uh, go ahead and get that all nice and coated up. Um, I actually threw a bunch of different seasonings on this one just because, I don't know, I was kind of just messing around see how the flavor turned out when I finished it up and uh, it was actually not bad everything tasted great so next up I uh, got a little killer hogs AP seasoning it's uh, salt pepper garlic got a little bit of herbs in there real good stuff Put down a little chili powder for, not even so much for Heat, just a little color on there. Get that coated up with that, and uh, yeah, I believe we got one more. So yeah, we threw on the Meat Church Holy Voodoo for actual little bit of heat, and for the little bit of sweet, we used a little bit of the heat. Keith Riles uh, pecan rub. That just adds a great flavor to any of our poultry that we do. So went ahead and added some of that. So get this sucker outside. Uh, I wanted to kind of spatchcock it. Never really done this with a breast, so I kind of uh, just uh, winged it pun intended uh, so yeah we went ahead and uh, got the Messermeister shears nice. cut whatever that was net gizzard whatever the heck it was 
buying. Uh, just left it in the tray there for uh, flavor and the juices to soak in. So got that cut out. I got a hot knife through butter. Uh, those shears, they don't mess around, man. Those things are money. They're worth every penny you pay for them, and they're really not that expensive. So, yeah, go ahead and pick yourself up a pair of those. Leave a link in the description or something like that. And, uh, so, yeah, we go ahead and got this sucker, like, semi spatchcock just so we can get it spread out in there and uh, cook nice and evenly. That's just one of my favorite ways to do any kind of poultry now. Turkeys, chicken, uh, spatchcock. So yeah, go ahead and uh, get this sucker into the uh, pellet smoker, get it into the Traeger. Get those temps set on the Thermal Works app. I believe it was like 165 or something like that. There's those sexy shears that I love. So there's that uh, pork butt from uh, previous cook. A little before and after right here. Kind of lagged on the end of the cook and once it was rested, I uh, let the wife slice it up for uh, my lunch meat. It was delicious. All those layers of flavor just tasty. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, please smash that like button and please subscribe to stay up to date with what's smoking at the Ochoa Smokehouse. Thanks again. Have a great day. Stay blessed. Peace.